हेलो नमस्ते एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल इट्स मी अनिता आचार्य फ्रॉम विश्व ज्योति बोर्डिंग स्कूल माई स्कूल इज लोकेटेड इन देवचुली फिफ्टीन प्रगति नगर आई एम अ मैथ टीचर ऑफ द स्कूल एंड यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस क्रिटिकल सिचुएशन ऑल द स्कूल्स कॉलेजेस आर टोटली क्लोज सो आवर स्कूल एंड वी टीचर्स आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर स्टेइंग एट होम फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम I request my dear students that you can see this video you can listen as well from our happy fm 103.8 megahertz youtube channel and our bisho jyoti page i would like to request my parents to support us and take it positive and support your children at home for their study as well As a math teacher today I am going to discuss here about geometry some basic knowledge of geometry so I think all the students you all are familiar with the word geometry because you already learned this words in the junior classes as well before I start exercise I would like to know the students about some basic knowledge of geometry okay without doing delay i am going to start the first topic the first topic is point you are very clear it is very easy as well when you give the dot that is a point it is a point a i have given here name as well a that's why it is pronounced point a it is a point the next topic is line segment and here we are going to discuss about different three types of lines there are line segment line straight line as well and ray line segment means what are the difference between these three lines we can discuss it separately the first one is the line segment when the line origin and end points is fixed then there is not any extreme that is the line segment it is a fixed line it may be 5 cm 6 cm it is a fixed that's why it is called line segment the next topic is line or it is also called la straight line my dear students just opposite of line segment is line here is not any fixed ending point it can be extend i have given here number name a and b but it is not fixed the line segment is fixed but the line is not fixed it can be extend so it is called line or straight line the next topic is ray the ray is the line which origin part is fixed and ending part is never fixed it can be extend from one side the sun rays is the very clear example of the rays the sun it is a fixed point and the rays comes from sun they are rays i think you all are very clear about point line segment line or rays students i have written here some exercises you can see these lines and please guess which line is this can you see what is this in which line is this yes exactly it is a ray because its origin part is fixed but ending part is not fixed it can be extend from here that's why it is a ray what is this can you guess okay it is a point it is very easy and the next one can you see by seeing this figure what is this in which line is this this is a line segment because this line segment both the origin and ending parts are fixed so that it is called line segment the last topic the last is the line because this is a line it is not a fix it can be extend that's why it is a line 
Now, dear students, I want to change our topic. The next topic is intersecting line and parallel line. At first, I am going to discuss about intersecting line. You can see the figure here on the board. It makes you clear that the intersecting line is those lines when two lines meet in a common point, interact and that is a intersect in P point. It is a intersecting line. This one, line one, it can be extend and line two, it can be extend and the P point, it is a common point of both line. That's why it is an intersecting line. When line becomes cross and meet to each other, that is intersecting line. Here you can see another example as well. Here the two lines, they, they are not meeting to each other. But they are lines, they can be extend. When we extend this line, it may be meet in one point. That's why it is also intersecting line. The next one, it looks like a parallel line. But it is also intersecting line because the distance between middle of the two lines are not same. When we extend it, it may be, it may be toss or meet in one common point. That's why it is intersecting line. I think you are very clear about intersecting line. When two lines make a common point and it meets in one common point that is an intersecting line. The next one just opposite of intersecting line is the parallel line. <coughs> parallel line. In intersecting line there is a common point but in parallel line two lines they never meet the common point they are the parallel line the two things we have to know in parallel line they are they never meet and the distance between two lines always remains same so it is a parallel line when we extend it with a Equal distance, they never meet. That's why it is a parallel line. I think you are very clear about intersecting line and parallel line. So here is some exercise. I am going to ask you, please guess the correct answer here. And what is this? Here is two lines. Can you guess this is intersecting line or parallel line? Yes, you are right. This is a parallel line because the distance between two lines here is similar and same. And this, can you guess? This is intersecting line. It looks like a parallel line but it is not a parallel line because the distance between two lines is not same. And this one also intersecting line. Yes, it can be extend and it can make a common point. The, what is this? Can you guess? If very easily you can say this is an intersecting line. And what is this? This is a parallel line. Because the distance between two lines remains same. So you are clear here about intersecting line and parallel line. Now next topics about curves. I am going to discuss you about curves. Here, the curve means when you make a zigzag line, that is a curves. Curve, you can see here clear figure as well. There are two types of curves. They are closed curves and open curves. Closed curve means you can see here figure when the origin and beginning parts of the curve and ending part of the curves meet in a same point it is a close curves it is a close it is a close curves and next one this you can see here when the origin of the curve line and ending parts of the cur curve line they never meet and there is a gap between them it is a open curves i think you are very clear about curve now i am going to teach you the hot of geometry. You already understand that the heart of geometry is angle. Angle, you can see here angles, yes. Angle means when to raise, when to raise, raise, I already introduced you. Raise means the origin part is fixed, 
the another ending part never fix it can be extend it is a raise so two raise when two raise make a common point o it makes angle it makes angle that means this is a angle this is an angle so here you have to learn you have to know about angles here vertex and sides vertex means when the rays make a common point o that is a vertex and sides and arms this is called sides and arms both are same then here oa oa and ob are sides o here o is vertex and here is given one point p then that is between the two lines so that it is called interior point here is another point q that is out of angles so it is exterior point you can give its name as well the name of the angle is a o angle a o b that means you understand o o is the vertex here you must write middle of an angle we are discussing here about angle o vertex always comes middle of the angles you can give another name as well b o a both are angle here but here we are discussing about angle o now let's go for types of an angle there are six types of angle they are acute angle right angle obtuse angle straight angle reflex angle and complete angle now we are going to describe about these angles those angles whose measurement is less than 90 degree that is acute angle and another angle number 2 is the right angle exactly 90 degree the angle whose measurement is exactly 90 degree that is right angle you can see the figure of right angle is same looks like alphabet letters l that is a right angle the next third topic is obtuse angle you can see this figure obtuse angle means greater than 90 degree but less than 180 that is obtuse angle as well as number 4 is the straight angle straight means straight line that's why it is exactly 180 so it is a straight angle number 5 sec last second last number is the reflex angle reflex angle means this greater than 180 and less than 360 is the reflex angle it looks like a acute angle but this outer parts we are discussing here that's why it is a reflex angle the last one is the complete angle exactly complete is the complete angle here 360 the measurement of 360 is the angle of complete so today we are going to discuss we already discuss about angles and types of angles you can see here and some exercise also given here you can you say 90 number 90 that angle 90 degrees which angle it is exactly 90 degree this is a right angle then 190 degree this is a reflex angle because it is a greater than 180 likewise you can practice by seeing on the board at home and by seeing the figure as well we can practice here is some figures and these figures can you guess which angle is this this is a less than 90 degree it is a it is an acute angle and what is this this is a greater than 100 greater than 90 degree it is obtuse angle it is a straight line it is a straight angle likewise you can practice yourself at home thank you students this much for today we will visit with new topics about quadrilateral and next day 
थैंक यू एंड योर होमवर्क इज गिवन हियर ओनली क्वेश्चन नंबर वन यू कैन डू नाउ राइट द टाइप्स ऑफ एंगल्स विथ फिगर इन अ चार्ट पेपर यू कैन डेकोरेट इट एट्स वेल एंड दैट इज योर प्रोजेक्ट वर्क फॉर यू ऑल थैंक यू स्टे होम स्टे सेफ बाय स्टूडेंट्स